Welcome in everybody. I am G Paw Silvermane and this is a Dragon Champions video. What I want to do in this video is talk about what I'm going to do with Dragon Champions in 2022 as well as how that pertains to my YouTube channel. I, I know that there's not a lot of content out there that ain't really rather old or outdated so I figure I can make some interesting content for the game as I go. What I'm going to do personally is I'm going to play it and enjoy it for what it what it is i'm not going free to play i'm not going well or cracking on it i'm spending on the battle pass probably and a few other things if they're of good value in which i and from what i've seen in this game everything that they offer you is generally really decent value there's very few offers that aren't awesome quite literally i started 25 hours ago and i've almost got my first seven star character i'm two shards away however i did spend just a little bit of money to get off on the right foot it makes the game that much funner better experience and it makes the whole flow of it just that much easier. What's going to happen in the future, I don't know. But I'm going to cover what I do know right now. Before I do, definitely down below, subscribe if you're interested in this content. And thumbs it up. If you thumbs it up, that lets me know that you're interested in seeing these videos. As well as it gets this information out to the YouTube uh, Dragon Champions community. So they can get this information as well. If it blows up my channel and people are enjoying this content, I will continue with it. Either way, I'm going to be making some content on it this year, and I'm going to play my butt off in it and enjoy it all through 2022, no matter what, even if I don't make content on YouTube for it, um, because there's not a, a view, uh, audience there. I don't know. But we're going to see. Also, there's a link to my uh, Discord in the description below the video. Check out our Discord. I'm going to set up some channels in there for people to comment, talk, a brag stand, some uh, place where you can put screenshots of cool things you've done, ask questions. We're going to have to learn together. I don't have a beginner's guide set up, but I'm going to explain to you what I have learned in 25 hours. And from one beginner video that I have watched, I also refer that refer you over to XMG. His stuff is outdated, it would seem, but he seemed like he knew what he was talking about when he made those videos. So, if nothing else, that could help you to some extent. Eventually, I will make some guides and things to help uh, newer players coming in. I'm hoping to help this game thrive and build a community around it. Uh, so far, it seems like an awesome, awesome community. I do want to say that I started a uh, guild, and it's called Gbot Quest. If you're active, dedicated, and want to be competitive in this game and go on this journey with me through 2022, absolutely check us out and join up. Um, if you become inactive for any reason, you know we'll have an alliance chat and channel. You can let me know what's going on. Otherwise, we'll just replace you with somebody that wants to be active. And it's nothing personal. That way we can be competitive and enjoy our quest through Dragon Champions, baby. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm sorry if I get scatterbrained and I bounce all over, but this is my first video for this and there's a lot of information. So my plan for this currently is just to cover my playthrough, my experience, some of the things I'm learning as I learn them and how to maximize your game gameplay experience essentially. And you can take and relate that to a free to play and or a light spender type of thing and learn what you need to learn. I do want to show off my heroes. I'm level 30 and I've been playing this game. I can't Stop playing it. Literally, I was sitting in bed last night at like 2 a.m. And I was up at 6.30 this morning. And finally, my girlfriend said, you need to turn that off. <laughs> or you're not going to wake up in the morning. And I almost just stayed up all night long. So the three legendaries I got from my first. It gives you a 10 pull. And I pulled three legendaries as well. Somebody in my Discord that has also uh, joined my alliance. He did the 10 pull. And I believe the game gives it to you. To get you started off on the right foot. He got three legendaries and they were completely different. But these are the three I got. And I am going to focus pandas and uh, dwarves, personally, are my two favorites. Starting off on pandas, the dwarves are coming together, but it seems like I don't have really any place to farm them currently. So Sindri is by far my favorite character and will be my avatar. Freezard, I did purchase the pack for, I think it was $17.99 or something. And that's because XMG said if there's one thing you spend on this game, it's Freezard. Um, Frizzard, Freezard. It's like Kestrel from Marvel Strike Force. Um, so I did, and I'm actually two shards away, and they give you quite a few shards for him. So if you're free to play, you're going to get him unlocked, and he's definitely worth investing into. As he's the last one to die on my team, obviously because he's the strongest, but his kit is quite wonderful. He puts out quite a bit of damage, great damage dealer, and he's a great plug and play. His kit isn't based on being with just humans or someone else, or you know what I mean? He does pair very well with Snorri from what I've learned, and that's only because it's tied into his skills here. Snorri, if Snorri's on the battlefield, he receives the same buffs, which is a uh, survive a fatal blow. Essentially, his, if he's on death's door, he'll live through it. Snorri will also get that. And I don't know what Snorri offers yet, because I haven't unlocked him and or found a node for him. But I, like I said, I am going 
pandas and dwarves. This game has dwarves. I use I played hundreds, thousands of hours of Skyrim, and dwarves were always the most amazing thing. But they're so it's all about the lore. It's not actually good to enjoy them. You know what I'm saying? And it, this game actually offers dwarves. Uh, Raleigh here, she's the dwarf healer, dwarf healer, mercenary rare. I think this is phenomenal artwork personally. It's totally different than what I'm used to. Uh, it's got an animated text to it. It's got interesting stuff like the machinery and such. It's just insane. This guy, look at this. He's like a walking zombie tank. And it's quite honestly, I, I'm really enjoying this artwork myself. Um, Orcs is the recommended uh, team to go for starting out because then you can unlock your Soleus. And that's just because I learned that from that video. That's what he said to go with. And then Soleus goes into your human team and then you unlock the next legendary. And his guides are all based around farming legendaries. Well, I'm here to have fun, enjoy the game. I'm just starting out and he might be completely right. But I'm going, f let me show you here the legendaries I'm going for. And you'll get tons of these offers. When you unlock a character, usually for like four four to 12 hours or something like that, it'll give you an offer for 249 or 349 to get them up to a two star or a three star. This is something you have to decide on. I did not buy many of these, if any, I don't think. Uh, other than that freeze art offer was the only one I grabbed. And then I think I grabbed his second offer actually for like two bucks or three bucks for another 65 shards. And after it closes out, it gives you one last offer here. And it asks you, are you sure? And I say, yeah, I don't I don't grab those. I'm going to farm these characters. That's what the game is about, is farming characters, right? Now, if it's a character you truly love, I could see you spending on it. There's no reason not to. It's going to throw you into this competition of new champions. And it lasts two days, I think, just over two days. I was in first when I went to bed, and I woke up in third. And I've, I'm spending a little bit of money. So as you can see, it's going to be a little bit more competitive here. But... The points drop off fast. You can tell where the free-to-play comes in. You can still be very competitive just by playing. Now the rating rewards. Thanessa, I believe she's the healer for the goblins. And she looks quite wonderful, honestly. Thanessa and Amara are two of my favorite aesthetically to get. These keys are nice as well as these. Um, something about pulling 10 poles at a time is the way to go is what XMG said. I don't know if there's anything to that, but... Uh, let me actually show you here. Summonings. So I've been pulling 10 at a time. You pull one at a time and I seem to always get rares, right? But right now there's a two times chance to get epic heroes. So it's 10% instead of 5%, I think. Or 20% instead of a 10%. Because I actually think this is the regular numbers here, personally. And on this one right here, it's a 5%. My bad. Yeah, 5 and 95. All right, so yeah. So it's actually a 20% chance to get epic. So I just do 10 pulls. And it seems to give me several epics i mean it's it's crazy the amount of they're very generous in this game and i will say that that's what makes it so much fun now amara she is my favorite goblin her hair looks phenomenal she's just cool looking um and that's kind of what i'm basing off of, is just going after what i want and what i enjoy essentially now they keep their legendaries in the event tab and i want to say this is quite amazing uh, they give you tons of events to work towards that help build your account starting out and they're they're not Extremely difficult, but I don't know how it goes free to play honestly, but I don't think they're gonna be that difficult I think you'll get good free free is free is free now Soleus is the one that everybody recommends That's what XMG said to go after well You need orcs and you can farm orcs pretty readily starting out in the game They actually come pretty early on in nodes, so that's why they recommend Soleus plus. He's one of the better champions in the game He's an OP character, I guess, from what I've heard. But you can go through and unlock him, as you see here. Boom, boom, boom. And I believe it takes, yeah, 145 to unlock. Seven tiers. So if you come in from Marvel Strike Force and such, this might be something that you recognize. Now, Ember is the one I'm going for, personally. Elves only. So I'd have to build an Elves team to unlock Ember. And I don't, I haven't really... Elves are not something I want to focus on personally, so I don't know. But I really want Ember really, really bad. As well as right here, uh, Renara. And Renara takes pandas. <laughs> Which is what I'm going for. So I will get Renara. Eventually. The pandas aren't... I haven't found a node to farm pandas yet. So I think one panda is farmable at this point for me. 
But as you can see, there's tons of legendaries to go after, as well as these more... Uh, I maxed this out, battle time. There's more events coming, and it shows you your events over here. Treasure hunt's coming up, and you can kind of see what you need to use for that. The requirements are bounty hunters with stars. One star, two star, three star, four star, I'm assuming. And then you got your loot. First time rewards, and then it's just like... Uh, I want to say payday. You get three out of three or that gold rush challenge for Marvel Strike Force. I love it. It's like they took the best parts of Raid Shadow Legends where you can buy energy and you can farm characters and grow your account and grind gear. But you can also do things like Marvel Strike Force as well as uh, the gear really reminds me more of Galaxy of Heroes personally. And it's like this. Just a bunch of things you can get for achievements where it's giving me shards. So leveling up runes, collecting runes, uh, amulets, and it's giving you keys, shards. It's just tons and tons of stuff going on. And you just get this passively. I mean, you can focus it, but it doesn't have really a timer on a lot of them. Lake is wonderful, so he would. I, from what I've seen, it'd be worth grabbing him if you're going pandas. Challenges, it's two different challenges every day. And I want to say right here, this is one of the most amazing things I've seen. Look at this. I didn't even three star of these and I'm just pushing forward see I got three out of three keys left if you play it for the first time and get a star on it it doesn't take one of your keys so you can literally go f until you hit your max okay now let's say I go in here since I've beat this and I use my three keys and this event's still going on in six hours and I've gained enough power I can go in and fight this without any keys I believe I haven't tried it yet but it doesn't take your keys essentially I'm pretty here let's try this just so I stay for sure. Oh, dang it. That ain't gonna work. Alright, so you can go in and battle. New rounds. And it doesn't take your key if it's the first time you beat the round. And I thought that was phenomenal because in Marvel Strike Force, you could only do one, two, three, and then I used all three of your keys, right? And then the next time it comes around, you could go higher levels. But you only get three wins no matter what. Well, on this, I literally started this today and I'm on to challenge four and I still have a key left. Because I used a few here. Because I don't know that I'm going to get high enough level. So I started using them up. So I don't run out of time. But you can keep playing and playing and playing. Until you hit the wall essentially. And it's quite wonderful. Guild. I'll show off the guild here a little bit. Total Heroes Power. Roach Night Twin. I know these two from my Discord. Um, and they're coming over from Marvel Strike Force. They want to try this game with me as well. I don't know these names personally. But... Right on. We have a level 73. Wow. That's huge. I'm building an alliance to quest through the universe of dragon champions in 2022. The great quest has begun. All right. So this is wonderful. Um, I got a lot to learn. I still haven't figured it all out yet, but it's a lot, a lot of fun. Let me look here. So you got your events. You got tournaments. Now these tournaments, it's like an arena. But multiple times. Look at this. So this is one that's totally different. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. But it's running out of time. Tournament 1 in 38 minutes. Wow. No, I want to register. But there's three arenas going on at once. And you can get top tier. Essentially, it'd be like Marvel Strike Force having multiple arenas. And it takes different things. Like this one takes a ranger and two mage. The other one took a human and an elf. And an orc or something. You know what I'm saying? So it requires different things. So if you were playing one and Cersei and Icarus dominated that, Cersei and Icarus wouldn't be in the other one or wouldn't dominate that. It gives more people, wider rosters, a better chance of actually getting good rewards. And that way cheaters and uh, krakens and stuff can't dominate everything, essentially. It makes it funner for the whole player base. And I find that to be quite wonderful. Personally. Register. No. Yeah, we can throw her up front. That's fine. So now that we're registered, 47 or no, and I think it's because I'm hitting certain levels that these are coming open to me. Now these special offers over here, I would not spend your Draco coins on anything other than three energy refreshes a day. And I will cover that here right now. Right up top, I don't spend these on anything. Um... Other than this, but I don't know that, you know what I mean? I can't give you advice 
Daily energy refill, and you can buy it three times. And it's how you're going to grow your account. That's the only thing I would spend it on. I wouldn't go any further if you're not spending money. I don't know. Um, I will say this in this chest right here. You get free chests every so many hours. But right here, I had this gold chest. <laughs> Sorry. I've got hiccups. What I did is I went in here, and I opened with my keys, and I had tons of keys, and I got it up to like, here, I'll just open one now to show you. It gives you a percentage increase to your gold, right? And there's a there's a thing where you have to open two chests a day, and it could be any of the chests. But see how it went up 5%? Every time you open one, it goes up five more, and it maxes at 50% for people out there wondering, because I tried it, and it maxed. Essentially, I ran out of keys, and I had like so many Draco coins, I didn't know what to do. I want a ton of gold, right? So I started opening these for 300 Draco coins. And I probably opened a good five or ten of them. And every single time I hit this gray box. And I think eventually it was up to like 347,000 is what I was hitting. I hit one that was like 1.6 million. But more often than not, I would always hit the bottom amount of gold you could get. So, just wanted to inform you that it maxes at 50%. But you see how it lasts for 12 hours, 36 minutes? That's what hooks you to buy it and spend more Draco coins. Because it's like, two hours left and I got a 50% gold increase. I better hit that because it's going to drop back to zero after that, right? So that entices you to do that. Now, obviously, you can see I got ability chest. This is where you get your ability materials. Runes chest. Uh, runes are huge in this, and I don't understand them completely yet. But it's similar to uh, ISO 8s from Marvel Strike Force. And if you're coming from Galaxy of Heroes, you'd understand that as well. Um, that's exactly what runes are, essentially. Common chest just gives you a chance to obtain gear gold and a hero stone, five, up to five hero stones. This one I'm saving, artifact upgrade chest. I don't I don't exactly understand it. So artifacts I haven't unlocked yet. So that's why I'm waiting on it. But you got multiple stores here, right? This is your chest store, you got your market. From the tip that I got is to buy these for gold every time. And there's achievements for, just like Marvel Strike Force where you're spending gold or purchasing things and unlock stuff for you. Obviously, if your gear gets going, just like Marvel Strike Force, and you have, let's say, you look at the number here, and it's a couple hundred, I probably wouldn't buy it, you know, but you can make your personal choices. But until then, I would say you're going to need them, and I've been farming tons and tons of gear. It seems like I can never get enough. Everything else in here, I don't know, and I leave that to you, but I would not spend your Draco coins on anything but energy until they accumulate a lot, okay? Until you're comfortable with how many you got and you're comfortable spending some, I would not use them for anything but energy. To grow your account now tournaments there's a lot of tournaments going on and it's constantly reviving your tickets i think it's like one every hour so you can do five attacks every five hours and uh you're getting these points for hitting stages and stuff as you can see mine are already building up i did buy this and this is going to be a crunch this is the one crunch that xmg talked about apparently once you get to a certain part in the relic campaign and i want to cover uh campaigns here in a moment you want to farm these as often as you can in the Relic campaign. I'm not there yet, and I've been playing my butt off. So it's, it's going to be something in the future to worry about. I don't know what to spend these on, so I'm just kind of saving them. Guild Currency, we haven't earned any yet. Runes. You can purchase runes here, but I, I'd i rather farm runes myself. So once you understand runes better, maybe go in here and try to shop. I don't know. Personally, I'm not going to purchase anything there. Gold, I'm going to hoard it. And use it for only what I need. Now, Arena is totally like Marvel Strike Force, essentially. It's a payout once a day. It's different than tournaments. Different currency. You'd have to pick what you're going to be farming for. Orcs. Um, pride. Or what? And I think these probably rotate. Refresh. Yeah, I'm sure they probably change and stuff. Stars I haven't unlocked yet. So there's a star currency store. I hope it's better than Marvel Strike Force. Kinley's awesome. Just saying. I'm really enjoying the pandas myself. Dwarves is going to be my main focus. I will farm them every day no matter what. As soon as I find nodes for them. And I'm assuming it's a late game farm. Honestly. Because they hit like a rock. But they're, they are they don't have... I don't have the healer for them yet at this point to go with their kits. So I run a tank and three dwarves. And I just nuke stuff. But if the other team has sustain, my dwarves die rather quick. All right, so I do do want to cover Arena. So three out of five attacks. I did a couple, I believe, last night. All right, so rewards are in six hours, 32 minutes. So you've seen the shop. Dang it. Rankings. 
and you're climbing. I started off at 10,998. I think 11,000 is as low as you can go. So, 75, 17. This is the top team currently. As you can see, it's the Orcs, and they unlock their Soleus. And that's what they're running as the best team currently in my arena. This is the local arena. Uh, my power is at 19,400. My rank 7,500. So I'm going to climb the arena pretty decently here. The global arena unlocks at level 52. I have no idea what it's about. Once it opens up, I will make a video and explain that and my understanding of it. The blessings also open at 52. I'm assuming it gives you some kind of boost or something maybe. Um, tons and tons of stuff going on here. And I like the music. You hear that? It's like, it's catchy and it changes. There are several different songs. Coming soon, Brawl. I don't know what it's about. I'm going to do some research, try to make a video on it. I'm going to learn everything Dragon Champions. They also also only function through Discord. They have a Discord that you can join as well as Reddit. And that's where they put up their new information or it's in here in game in your mail. Available at level 35, Tower Mode. And we're just getting this in Marvel Strike Force, but this one's constant, okay? And if there's a normal and a difficult setting. And obviously it's for new to mid game and then mid game to end game is the hard setting. But you get to play through this every day and it's tons and tons of rewards. It's it's awesome. Needless to say from what I've seen anyway. I can't wait in, to get into it. Now raids, everybody loves a good raid. Where we're, What I'm not understanding is we've accumulated these tickets in our guild section, right? 2,400 of them. But it's, it's not showing them up here in our overall stuff. Now the rewards look quite amazing. Gear key... 11. Wow. Shards. I'm assuming this Kiana is probably a decent character if they're giving away in raids. Like a Silver Surfer or something. Awesome. Awesome looking. Is this runes? Upstone. Common star upstone. I don't know what that means. Increasing the star count of your artifacts. See, now I don't have artifacts unlocked yet. But there's a couple raids here. This one costs 10000 so this is the one that we'll, we'll probably start in. Um, but you can't start it, you know what I mean? You need the tickets, and they haven't accumulated. I don't know how it works in this game yet. So we haven't been able to experience Rage yet, but I'm going to make content covering this whole game and my experience in it in 2022. I would love for all of you to come join my community, my Discord. Definitely sub like and subscribe. Check out this content. I think you're going to like this game. It actually seems to be very player-friendly. If you choose to spend, you actually get awesome stuff for your money. Um, I got a five-star OP Frizzard, 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 for seventeen dollars, almost eighteen bucks, and that's the only character I'm gonna buy like that. I hope, God, I hope. It's just, it's quite awesome, honestly. Here, let's go cover campaigns real quick. Because there's a lot of campaigns, and that's the fun part, right? So the Dawn, Dawn of the Order is for your your, your light side, essentially. I guess it's not really light side, because they're kind of some of the humans are jerks, but it's your humans, your elves, and I think your dwarves. Dawn of Order. But you can only use these champions to battle this. So if I hit battle. So, oh, that's it. Uh, dwarves, pandas, humans. It's the order. And there's humans that... Okay, let me show you. This is a better way to show you. Sorry. So Dawn of the Order, you can only use order to play. Now Rage of the Clans, you can only use clans to play. Clans are goblins, orcs, um, pride. And I like the pride. Pride is probably what I'm going to go for for clans until I can get to goblins. Goblins is a late game farm as well. And they're pretty cool looking. Now the Runic Journey campaign. As you can see, I haven't got very far. I'm just on the second stage here. Health, armor... Crit, attack, I don't know what these ones are here, potency, speed, that's the different sets you can get for your runes, okay, and you can't go into these ones until you've beat the prior ones, so I beat all these, but this is where you get your runes, and it uses a totally different currency here to farm them, and it actually takes quite a while, I think it's 10 minutes per one energy, it takes six energy to fight a node, so every hour you get one fight on a rune. So you gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta utilize it. Now, Demon Invasion is the last campaign. And I, I imagine this is probably a newer one to it. But it's about demons coming into the world. And the, some of the demons are actually funny and hilarious. The story, I have to say, if you're playing this game, 
The first 15 hours have been phenomenal story. I might sneeze, sorry. But this is where you can get, I just think it's loot, essentially. I don't, epic upgrade stone for artifacts, gold, Draco coins. Dracoin, Dracoins, Dracoin, Dracoin. And this is epic shards. So as you get a hundred of these and it makes a shard or a stone to summon. I got two of them. So it's an epic or a legendary that comes out of this. More likely an epic, but it's still... The drop rates seem to be very, very friendly. It's just another campaign where you can get other stuff, essentially. This little loot here. Rewards over on the side. You can get gear. Uh, upgrade stuff. This, I think, is just a random lucky drop, maybe. Is what I'm guessing. What you can get is, like, the rare drops. And on the side here, as you're, as you're going through getting stars, it's giving you rewards and loot. And you can actually see what you're working towards. And this is some really decent loot, honestly. From what I've seen in the game, this is pretty phenomenal. And it all adds up, right? And then at the end, you get a five-star Wukong. He looks cool. And those are the campaigns. Now I want to show you this real quick. The two factions. Heroes. So you got... Professions are different. You got Bounty Hunter, Dragon Slayer, Traveler, Gladiator, Mercenary, Explorer, Brawler, Peacemaker, Mentor. But you got races, okay? So you have the human race, orcs, elves, goblins. I see I like the goblins. That's why I like her. Look at her hair, dude. That's awesome, right? And this dude's in an exoskeleton. I really like Adam myself as well. Some of the artwork in this is phenomenal. P Pandas. Pride. See, and I like the pride myself as well. Um, some of the characters in it, rather. But they're all harder to get. Like Revel. Revel, Hera, Salvador. Would be three of my favorites, probably, from the pride. Then you got the dwarves. This is my favorite one of all. Okay. Um... This is what I'm going after. Half pigs. <laughs> so this, I don't know what they do, but it seems like there's two at a time in each one. Boom, boom, boom. As you can see here, they have double names. Can and O'Neer, Barn, Rel, uh, Demons. So this has come with a demon campaign. And there's some cool looking demons, actually. Buff seems to be the go-to. He's the one in the storyline, and it's rather funny. He asks you to roll the dice on his belt there. And they're all six-sided. Or six dots on each side, right? Um, so all you can roll is sixes. But he says, if you roll a one, I'll join you and help you. <laughs> so all you can roll is a six. And I've, I found the the banter and the, the voice acting to be rather awesome. But the voice acting does cut off after a while. So for some reason, this is not going to sort them the way I want it to. Um, so you got humans. They're in the clans. You got orcs, they are, or the orcs are the clans, the humans are the order. Elves are uh, order. Goblins are clans. Pandas are order. But I swear there were some pandas that were clans as well. But apparently, I guess not. Pride is clans. So you have three and three, and then it looks like dwarfs, half pigs, and demons. I'm not really sure where they fall in. They just seem like a unique thing of their own essentially all right which could lead me to believe that they're working see this is an insane offer four star runes and i actually like to look at who they recommend they're selling them for so like kulai they recommend this for my healer for my pandas all health glyphs for kulai health runes rather and it's 20 percent per two runes so 60 percent more health and that's what they're selling because they think that'd probably be the best for her I'm assuming you can get theory craft and such, but it's quite, quite wonderful. Now this battle pass, I am sorry this video is going long, but I kind of want to cover everything here and kind of just show you off why I'm so enjoying this game. It's insane. There's so much to do. The character, the art is phenomenal. They have dwarves, man. And I've wanted to play a dwarf faction my whole life. Uh, I've been waiting for Diablo so I can play as the dwarf and go through the game. Baldur's Gate, I was always the dwarf. Um, 
they just don't offer in a lot of games. And I don't know why, honestly. But this is the Battle Pass. I did get it. Um, but I was already going through. There's only 19 days left, so I don't know that I'll max it. But as you can see, there's some pretty awesome runes in here. Tons and tons of purple gear. Uh, legendary Summon Stone. Legendary Shard, rather. So it's just tons and tons of loot. And uh, honestly, these are usually your best bang for your buck is Battle Passes. It's the game giving you a chunk of stuff for a, a, a solid amount of money. And it's only like, I think it was like 10 bucks or 11 bucks for the Battle Pass. Phenomenal, right? If you come from Marvel Strike Force, you're like, yes, please. It's similar to a Raid Shadow Legends Raid card, I guess you could say. Um, expeditions, you can send out Expeditions. Uh, there's usually four of them here, but like one minute, five minute. This one was 12 hours. This one was, I think, 15 or 24 hours or something like that. And the rarity gets better as you level up down here. See, and now I can have a 5% chance of an epic uh, expedition dropping when you hit level four. And you get three stars. I think it's three stars per. Ten stars for that one. Six stars for that one. So the, the smaller ones, you get three. So that's 16 more. I'll put me up 26 out of 40, and that's how you leveled up. And I can only assume that this gets way, way better and you're getting legendary expeditions. And it drops you shards, as you can see here, of different characters based on the heart of the thing. And more shards, too. All right. Um, that's all I got, guys. I just wanted to go over it. Battlegrounds, available at level 40. I haven't even unlocked it. Tower, coming soon as Brawl. Tons of game modes, tons of fun. Definitely check it out. I'm going to have tons of content coming out for this. I know this one was rather long. I'm going to try to keep them shorter in the future. But I just want to kind of cover everything. Um, let you know what I'm going to be doing with Dragon Champions. Obviously, you probably see a lot of ads uh, from other content creators you watch or uh, sponsored videos. And they're like, they talk this game up, like hype it up. But I haven't seen a lot of content from anybody out there. So I am going to take my time, enjoy the game, and cover it as I do. So if that sounds interesting, definitely like, subscribe, comment down below. Check us out if you're going to join the game want to get started on it. Um... Much love, stay healthy, we'll see you around.